What's up YouTube? Welcome to The Healthy Coder where we cover simple ways for programmers to stay healthy. In today's episode we're going to cover five easy ways to stay fit while you work from home. So the first tip we're going to go over is doing push-ups during the day. Now as a programmer you're sitting at your desk, you're coding a lot, and you probably don't take breaks or if you do you get up and get a snack or something like that. But It'd be great to incorporate something like a bodyweight exercise uh, routinely during your day, maybe once every hour. And uh, there's an article that talks a little bit about it. Uh, but one of the easiest ones, uh, if you're not used to this, is just doing push-ups. You can either you know, do 5 to 10 push-ups every hour. You could do maybe 30 every 2 hours. Um, totally up to you. But one of the best things you can do is just get active during the day and set a timer for yourself and break up those hours for your coding with some kind of body weight exercise like a push-up. So the second tip we're going to cover today is relating to your posture. And it's really important to do this because it'll save you tons of heartache and pain in the future with your back uh, by, by following this. And it's basically following a simple system to maintain good posture during the day. So as programmers, a lot of times we're sitting there uh, and we're focusing on our code and during the day we start slouching over, you start looking at your screen more by, by looking in. Um, you just start losing that, that posture that this girl has, your back straight, eyes up uh, 90 degrees in terms of your, your arms, and you start losing that. So it's just really important to maintain this. Uh, and if you don't know good posture in terms of the, how to even start, uh, this is a great picture. It maintains a lot of the principles. So uh, first one is keeping your eyes in the top third of the monitor. Um, and basically, if you have your, your laptop or computer and you're not looking at the top third of the monitor, you want to either move yourself down or move the computer up so that your eyesight's level with the top third. Um, you've got the uh, 90 degrees here uh, bend. You have uh, your feet on the ground. Some people arch their feet, and that's not good. Um, and basically keeping your back straight as well is obviously the one most people cover. Uh, but it's very easy to forget, right? So you start slouching over, you start uh, focusing on your code, and you can slouch over. And so it's really important to keep this posture uh, while you're coding during the day. So the third tip we're going to go over is related to your eyesight. And it's taking breaks consistently during the workday to give your eyes a rest. And so as programmers, we're looking at the screen a lot. Um, your eyes are always strained and focused by the end of the day because we're just reading lots of code, lots of documentation, doing doing uh, architecture diagrams, etc. And so I like this tip that they suggest, which is uh, essentially five minutes every hour should be spent away from the screen. And that gives your, your eyesight a little bit of time to adjust uh, before going back to the blue light screen. Um, but you can also try something like this, which is basically every 20 minutes, give yourself some kind of like even really small break, like 20 minutes or 20 seconds, just to look away from the screen. Uh, but at least at a very basic minimum, try keeping your eyes away from your screen at least for five minutes every hour. So the fourth tip we're gonna go over is keeping your sleep pattern consistent. And so while we're working from home, there's a lot of change in people's schedules. Uh, if you ever see a JIRA request go out at two in the morning, I know I've seen a bunch uh, over the past six months where people are just working crazy hours. Um, and you probably have been working different hours as well. A lot of people do stuff at night now, et cetera. But it does affect your evening routine. And so one of the best things you can do and try is to make sure you fall asleep and wake up at the same time every day. And so uh, this article basically gives a couple reasons why it's important, but studies have shown that it helps with your digestion, your immune system, which is obviously important during coronavirus, uh, concentration and productivity, your mental health. Um, and I like this part because basically as programmers, we try everything and keep what sticks and get rid of what don't. And so uh, I've been trying this recently, the last month I've been doing doing this, we're very consistent with sleep schedule. Uh, I go to bed at 11, and wake up at seven every day. And so I found it helped me a ton in terms of my productivity because uh, I don't have as many 
concentration issues that I did before. Uh, but maybe it won't work as well for you, but uh, just give it a try. Uh, see if it does help you concentrate more and work more efficient in your programming. So for the fifth and final tip of this episode, we're gonna cover nutrition. And the tip is to eat and find low calorie snacks uh, that you keep in your house and uh, have during this crazy coronavirus time. And obviously most of us are working from home right now. Uh, if you work from home, you end up just snacking more and eating more because you're at home and you're not you know, stuck in the office where you maybe go out to eat or your company provides lunch once a day. Uh, and so find an article like this or, or whatever matches your eating preferences where you can start looking and finding low calorie snacks that fit your eating habits. But I'm gonna go over a couple of really easy ones if you don't have any specific eating habits uh, that you follow. They're just super good to have as snacks. And the first one is hard boiled eggs. They're about 80 calories uh, per egg, but they're super filling, they have tons of vitamins and you just can't eat very many of them. And that'll be the theme of most of these kind of snacks. Uh, second one is Greek yogurt with berries. The berries are good for vitamins as well and give them flavor. And the Greek yogurt has a lot of protein in it. And the third one is sort of high calories, but you just can't eat very much of it, and that's almonds. Uh, and so almonds have tons of good nutrition value, uh, and you just get full after you eat them. They have a lot of fiber. So I hope you all enjoyed these five easy ways to stay fit while programming from home. If you have any of your own special tips and tricks that you do for health, uh, especially during these work from home times, comment uh, in the video and post it so other people can see. Um, and if you're interested in watching more tips related to coding and staying healthy, uh, like and subscribe on this video and hope to see you next time.